I was in Jackson, Mississippi, and I read uh, in the local newspaper that there was only one abortion clinic in the entire state of Mississippi. And at first I thought I read it wrong. I thought that can't possibly be the case. How could this be? So um, I just called them up and said, can I come over? <laughs> And by then they were getting some publicity, so they were used to people inquiring. A lot of us think because Roe v. Wade is the law of the land, um, at least until the Supreme Court hears this next case, that abortion rights are safe. And that actually couldn't be further from the truth. I think documentary directors, we get obsessed with things. Once something grabs a hold of our attention, like you can really get obsessed with it. And I just got obsessed with the idea that right in plain sight, abortion clinics were being regulated out of existence. And I thought um, I wanted to explore how to figure out how to tell what was actually happening. I'm Dawn Porter, I'm the director of Trapped premiering in the U.S. Documentary Competition at the 2016 Sundance Film Festival. Trapped is about abortion clinics in the Deep South. I followed three different clinics and an abortion provider who are dealing with just an onslaught of laws that are meant to regulate them. It's this really Kafkaesque catch-22, and they've been very, very effective. So you've seen abortion clinics across the South, but really across the United States, closing at this alarming rate. There's one of our main characters is June Ayers, who owns a clinic in Montgomery, Alabama. And at some point, um, we had a really tough day. There were a bunch of protesters, and there was a young woman who was in a bad situation. And I said to her, do you ever think about just quitting, just stopping? And she said, I'm not going to leave my ladies. I think about that a lot. A huge percentage of people getting abortions at public clinics are, live below the poverty line. So this very much to me is not just a film about abortion, it's also a film about class and power. I hope that people will see it in that context because I think the same tactics that are being used to close abortion clinics could be used in any social issue.